Okay guys, so today we're gonna be replacing this. So basically we can open up our hood without needing to have this. Okay guys, so I'm not a sponsor, but here's what came. I'm not being sponsored at all. This is what came, the installation here. A little manual that shows where it goes and the wrapped up struts here, the hood lifts and their carbon fiber too, that will go into being installed. So let's go ahead and figure out now how it gets installed. Okay guys, so this is kind of a tool that you break apart. Basically what I'm gonna be ending up doing guys is running this tool through this hole here and up to this right here so that when I find it, I screw it on and then this you should be able to just pull apart as you go in there. So now we're just gonna look for the hole which we already did. And let's start to see if we can start screwing it on. Let's see, where is it? I'm gonna have to bend it a tiny bit in there because there you go. We got it now. I think so, yep. Screw it in all the way. That's one strut. I mean, one ball bearing here. So we're gonna grab our wrench here. And do it all the way now. And then guys, you should be able to pull that out. That broke off, now it's on there good. You can even tighten it more if you want to. Then you do this on the same side up there. Guys, now we do the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, so next it's time to get these brackets in place. And first to do that, we gotta screw this one, which is actually easy. You only wanna screw one. And screw this one right here. Hopefully nothing moves, you know, but. Okay guys, so to install it, install it back, this one is adjustable. So I'm gonna see what happens if I go all the way out on it, this way. So, or let's just do it in the middle, honestly. Grab your wrench back and just start screwing them on again. Okay, yeah, so now you can just install this one back on. There you go. Should be the same type of socket. And that's installed. So now it's time to get the strut on. Okay guys, so time to install this one strut. What you wanna do? is not is to take out that clip before put it on now let's go put it on okay guys so this pin right here i had to take out from here uh so time to you know do it install hopefully i don't lose this pin put it very carefully let's see what happens now okay, that's in let's see if we can get the pin back in safely without losing it it's just gonna come off if i don't do anything Actually, it's already on there. Actually, it's not. Hold on. So, the pin. You gotta just do this. And that's it. That's how it goes in. Down here, the clip is off. So, what is next left to do is lift the hood higher, honestly. Let's see how much higher we can lift it. Lift it higher and install this right in here. And that's it. I gotta do is pop this clip back in. I don't know what why it's not popping in. I'm gonna get a uh, flat out again, but there you go. And that's it, guys. This sucker is popped in. It's officially holding my Mazda. So, 
Now, gotta do what we do here on the other side. Last part that I have to do is make sure this has enough clearance. If anything, I'm gonna have to move it to the right, but let's just see if it has enough clearance. So, uh, there's a pretty strong. Has enough clearance? No, it doesn't. So, because I have my own mods, I have to make my own clearance. So, hold up a second. Okay guys, so now the moment of truth to see if everything will clear how it's supposed to sell it. Grab it. These are pretty stiff actually. Right? Let me close it. Now let's open this thing up. Let's see how well it is. like it's just enough clearance because it's not damaging this and we're good to go okay guys link in description for the hood struts below and you can get them in many different colors uh, you have plain black you got black carbon fiber which is what I install you got blue carbon fiber green carbon fiber orange carbon fiber purple red and even silver carbon fiber so check it out okay guys that made a very nice install the link will be in description. Whether or not I get the original link that they give me, I'm gonna say I am uh, completing the video, send me a link, or maybe they find it in the email. I got these for free, but you can buy them in the link in the description below on Amazon. Once I find it, or if they give it to me, it'll be in the description. This video is not gonna be live until that's gonna be possible, okay? And guys, these are the best, one of the best struts ever. Uh, aftermarket, it works well. After I figured it out, easy install, just gotta play around with it, but yeah. That's definitely one thing you will need if your Mazda doesn't have it. Not canceled. Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2006. Driving a temp in the 6 Series.